Today we're going to focus on hidden stats that I think you should definitely be aware of when you're creating your class for Vanguard weapons within Warzone. One of the main parts that we'll focus on today is Perk 2. Obviously there's a lot of things to choose from here, but most people tend to go with fully loaded and on hand. And there's one hidden thing with on hand that it actually speeds up your aim down sight time. So here's an example with the Bren with and without on hand. What we're going to see here is I start the ADS animation. As it goes through, it has mount on the screen. And when you use a dual zoom optic, it'll pop up and it'll say, do you want to swap between the optics as you get closer right here? So it says right here, click to change zoom. And that pops up 717 milliseconds after. And this is without on hand. This is fully loaded and the same build that we have here, which is pretty slow. Then we go ahead and go over here and we equip on hand. We go ahead and go through. You can go ahead and see that it starts at the same thing where it had mount on the bottom. But this time around, you save around 30 milliseconds. It ends up finishing out um, right at 667, 684. It swaps over to change your zoom. And this ends up saving you, like I said, 33 milliseconds or so, which is approximately two frames at 60 FPS. And I found this out because a site called Sim that was primarily only doing battlefield data somehow ended up getting Warzone weapon stats that are from the hard-coded stats of the game. And you go ahead and can plug in here, you get all this different stuff. I think it's still a work in progress because not everything is perfect with the game, but it will show tons of data that is not necessarily available. And I noticed this immediately when I went to go build some things, I was like, all right, is there anything hidden? Um, because maybe it's hard-coded to the stats without manual testing. And I wanna see how accurate these things were. So in this case, I ended up building the Bryn and I was going through all the different attachments, kind of looking through and what you'll notice right here is with the build that I built, it says 717 milliseconds when I tested, and it ends up being 714. A little bit of frame rounding there. That ends up being exactly what it needs to be. But what you'll notice on here is if you skim through, you can go ahead and see these different ones. And then when you get to on hand, it says lowers the ADS time by 33 milliseconds, which brings it down to 681, which is right next to 684s, which I manually tested. So you end up with a new metric where you can go, okay, what's going on here? And obviously a site like this is in direct competition with true game data, but I think with the availability of hard-coded stats and understanding that those are available, I think this healthy competition in the long run will just make it so that there's more tools available for you to be able to better make the weapons that make the most sense for you. While there's still tons of room for interpretation, to kind of guide you the right way, it's nice to have tools that kind of give you a little bit of guidance, especially since there are so many attachments and weapons to choose from within Warzone. So a couple other things that right here that this will provide that maybe it would be impossible to test. If we go to stippled grip, it says view kick right here and it says ends after third shot or shot minus three or whatever the heck that means. There are some hard coded things that we'll have to figure out. Also in hand testing, the muzzle velocity, this is tested at zero versus all the muzzle velocity I've ever tested. I usually test at 500 meters, which the bullet de decelerates over time because of the in-game physics. You could actually see different spots on the body, so it doesn't have as many of the advanced features True Game Data has, but I'm sure the healthy competition will build on top of each other. You can go ahead and figure out what has the fastest TTK on which body part. The graphic on this is pretty good. Obviously, I've combined multiple weapons, and I've built a weapon that is incredibly slow for the Bren, but it has little to no recoil, and the bullet velocity is up there with the Kilo, as well as the Automaton, and you can see the well gun suffers uh, Pretty, pretty bad right here. It has significant bullet drop off, about half a meter up at 100 meters, which you really wouldn't be using it. But you can kind of see where the difference in bullet velocity is as you go through that. And it pretty much has all the weapons there. So you can pick and choose what makes the most sense. And I think over time, we're gonna find a little bit more of these where they have these subtle hidden stats that aren't mentioned in game. Because when you go in game, all it says is equipment dexterity, very vague. And it doesn't change any of these stat bars for aim down sight or mobility or whatever you'd want to call it. It's just not there. So I would imagine that over time, we'll, we'll be able to look through more of those since I think they just copy and pasted the hard coded stats into a site and it's kind of left to interpretation. And over time, we'll be able to figure out some things that, oh damn, that doesn't mention this. Hope you guys get to try it out. Let me know if there's anything that you find in there that you find a little interesting and we'll kind of go from there. Appreciate all the support and the content. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.